do the more videos cry or do the maker and now what? How can you use them to promote your business, charity or ideas? Watch my movie and you will see me crafting a doodle to promote my online course. I am Maria Hangano of Salesman Pride channel and today I will show you how to doodle for audience. Join my channel if you want to get more concise and effective guides like this one. The key to doodle effectively is the message. So let's start from the message. What do you want to happen after your audience will see your movie? Do you want them to subscribe? to visit your landing page and to buy your product, to share your content. Write it down at the top of your Word document as I am doing right now. All right, you will need a story. Yes, if you want people to listen, you will tell them a story. You will not lecture them. The story has to start with a bang, something intriguing to lure your audience to stick with your movie to get to the next stage. The next stage is the framework. Every story has a setup that introduces actors and places the story in time and space. And then you tell the story. At the end, there is a catch, your call to action. Buy my product, share my content, do 10 push-ups, whatever. For best results, apply the formula described by Chip and Dan Heath in their book Made to Stick. Your story has to be success, simple, unexpected, core, credible, emotional story. You will post the story to social media. The right length for Facebook and LinkedIn is 40 seconds to one minute. For YouTube, it's three minutes. Now, let's see how to plan your doodle. Okay, so this is how I organize my document, how to doodle. Here, I write down my objective. So my objective is to get people to buy my new online course. And this is the story that I crafted. So, Paul is the manager of six people. They had to relocate home when the crisis hit. The productivity is down. His manager asks why is this happening. Paul is a good manager. He did an analysis and it is not the fault of his people. They are not lazy. There's another reason. Which one? asks the boss. It is the infrastructure that has not been planned for teleworking. It is the IT solution that is slow if accessed from distance. Transferring work to teleworking requires analysis and planning. We should have planned better. I know I learned it from another course. Paul knows it. He learned how to move teams in teleworking and manage them. So this is the story. Now I need to put the story in a framework that will allow me to use Doodly or another uh, Doodle maker and make it a movie very fast and very coherently and this is how i do it basically okay okay and this so i have a table column one text so every sentence from my story will have to fit in this column and here is visual. So what I'm trying, I'm trying to separate scenes. So one cell is one scene. So Paul is the manager of six people. What are the visuals? Here I start imagining things which will end up in doodly. And the creative process starts with writing the story, but doesn't end here in this, in this table. This table is done just to guide me, to help me um, organize the content in order to transform it in, in doodles but when I will go to doodly and I start creating I have, I have improvements if I have another ideas that's no problem I can I have the full liberty to change things but now we are at stage one so visual Paul eventually Paul and the team so I just left uh, freedom for creativity and notes if I want to say something which is not in the visuals I have to to put it here then every sentence uh, becomes a scene and I plan everything here like this and I add some uh, notes here I had the longer text but just by writing it down and imagining a scene 
I, I came up with uh, a better solution. Here it was not a dialogue before, but just writing it down, I realized that I can comprime two uh, scenes in only one if I use a dialogue. And that's it. Now I can go to Doodle, start my work. Let's do another one. Let's say sample 1080p, whiteboard is fine, then create. Now, how do I work? So Paul is the manager of six people, Paul, eventually Paul and the team. So what I need to do, I need a scene. So let's look to people and let's say a meeting and I find some candidates. Let's pick this one. Okay, so I can resize it a little bit, but I, he's a manager of six, so I need to add more people. And let's say, let's have a Jane. Jane would fit here, let's say. No, maybe I'll put Jane here. I'll flip her. Then make it realistically the same size of the other ones. Send back. Okay, add more people, more people, let's say, who would also look nice. Let's say a uh, woman. So we have two, four. We need two more people. This lady could be here too. Okay, so let's send her back. And we have nice five people. One is missing, doesn't matter. Now we go to our Story, copy, add some text, fine and then it will take too long I don't want to take that long okay I want them to take a lot less to draw and let's see what we have done Great. So scene number one ready. Then we just go to scene number two. They had to relocate home when the crisis hit. That's very easy. I have something in mind. This one would look nice. Let's center it. Let's get to the text. And And that's it. I have two. Let's save. Let's see how it looks like. See if we like the outcome. 
so far. Okay. So you can see how fast I've been able to, to do two scenes. I won't uh, keep you here to watch the rest of the process. I have already uh, compiled um, a movie. So I'll show you directly the movie. Uh, I added also music. So let's see how it looks like the finished product. your videos doodles just let me know like if you like it dislike if you did it subscribe to my channel and hit the notification tool too i caption most of my movies in english spanish and romanian if you start a movie and it is not in, in the language that you understand please speak the appropriate subtitling language